bit of introduction. I won't go ahead in defining all of this, but I'll just quickly, just a reminder, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with some of this. Um, first of all, tides. What is a tide? When you have rise or fall of water level in the open ocean, you say you have a tide. If it's rising, it's a high tide. If it's falling, it's a low tide. Now, the question is what happens? How, what makes you know what what makes us have high tide sometimes and, and low tide some other times what is really the driving force the key message the key thing here is this the rise and fall of of the water level is triggered by the combined effect of you know the gravitational pull uh, exerted by the moon uh, um, uh, and the sun on the earth and its body of water so I'm going to walk you through that very soon. I will show you some uh, some some uh, cartoons that will actually illustrate that. But the idea here is that the moon, uh, the position of the moon and the sun is actually key to how much of tidal force we have pulling the water in the surface of the earth. Okay. The difference between the highest tide at the water level at the highest point and the water level at the lowest point, which is called low tide, the difference between the both of them is called the tidal range. So in different basins, in different um, deltas, or in different environments, you have uh, different uh, tidal ranges. There are some areas where it's very high, there are some where it is low. And also depending on what's, what the location of the moon and the sun. I'll, I'll, talk, through that, I'll talk through that um, in, in a moment. Yeah, so I talked about differences in tidal ranges, you know, uh, in different locations and being driven by the position, sometimes position of the moon uh, and the sun relative to the earth. Now I'll be walking you through what we call nip tide and spring tide. Okay, uh, but I, I'll just I'll just hold on that thought, just hold that thought until we get to the next, uh, the very session. Uh, so still on introduction, um, this says tidal currents are near shore horizontal movement caused by vertical rise and fall of tide. I think we're familiar with this uh, by now. Tidal flood, I've also, uh, you know, uh, hinted on what it is. The period when the water level is rising, that means the water in your ocean is moving towards the land, away from the sea. So if you're standing on the beach, for example, or you're standing where you have like an open ocean in front of you, um, if you have tidal flood, or a rising tide, what that means is that the water level will be rising and the water level will, if it's in front of you, if it was in front of you, it's going to come to you and eventually you'll be standing inside the water. That's when you say you have a tidal flood. The reverse is the case if the, uh, the water level is falling or receding, in which case if you're standing and you're facing an open ocean, the uh, shoreline will be moving backwards or that means the water level is actually uh, reducing and moving away from you that's towards the sea, away from the land. There are periods uh, where you have like the weakest uh, current, and usually between that, sometime between tidal flood and ebb, those periods are called slack tides. We will see more of this, and we will see some indication of these elements uh, in outcrops. Okay, so this is a kind of a cartoon I uh, put together. Hopefully, it will. It will send the message. Okay, so now this. Okay, I, I made mention of tidal forces. I said there are forces generated due to the moon's pull on the earth. So they cause what tidal forces cause? They cause the bulging of the water, uh, water that you have on the in, in your in your open ocean. There's this bulging, and that bulging uh, we see it in the form of a rise or a fall. Okay, um, and that's depending on the position of the moon. We'll talk about that. But what is key on this slide is that uh, we have a period called the ebb tide. When the this, if we have, let's say we have the sea level at this point, and at time t1, and at time t2, it's going down. At t3, it goes down, and it's falling. You say you now have the ebb tide. Um, the reverse is the case if it started off at a certain location, let's say somewhere here at time T1, and uh, with more, with you know, with uh, more, uh, as you delayed stay around this area, you you observe that the sea level is actually coming up and moving up 
are coming towards you, moving towards the land, uh, what what that means is that you have a flood flood uh, tide. I'm showing this picturally so that I mean we can relate to it. I'm sure you, you, the terminologies are not um, strange, but picturally it will be good to be able to relate to these things. I also talked about tidal range, difference between uh, the lowest tide and the highest tide, uh, and and uh, how that is different from one place to the other.